Well, hey everyone, how you doing today? Simeon here. Thanks again for being a subscriber and a fan. I wanted to make this little broadcast today to talk about disclosure. This is a topic that I wrote a little blog piece about a few days ago, and I've been getting some responses about it, so uh, I wanted to clarify uh, what's going on here. Basically, there's going to be a mock citizens hearing in Washington DC in a few months and this is the idea to begin to initiate the process of disclosure about what we know, what our government may know about the subject of extraterrestrials and UFOs. This is a big you know, fascinating topic with lots of ramifications and this is going to be an open event if you can't make it there in person, it's going to be streamed live on the internet for a reasonable fee. So no matter where you are, you're going to be able to participate in this citizens hearing, which is going to be held in front of retired congressmen and senators at the National Press Club. And it's going to be for a full five days, which means that there's lots of time for questions and answers and for each of these witnesses to tell us what they know about the subject. So this is a fascinating topic and this aspect of it is what I call the external disclosure, right? This is disclosing about the facts, about what we know about the extraterrestrial presence, visitors to Earth from other planets and other galaxies and so forth. It's a topic that we're just starting to explore, which makes it very exciting. There's also another aspect of this topic which I call the internal disclosure and it really has to do with you directly in terms of what you believe about the whole subject, your assumptions that you may have that you're not aware that you have about the extraterrestrial phenomena, your whole notion of how you relate to the universe. It really has to do with your own belief system. And the reason I call it the other disclosure is because I really believe that we all have a lot of abilities and skills that we haven't even tapped into ourselves individually. And in order for us to fully be present to be able to maybe one day meet visitors from other worlds, other places, uh, potentially in our future, so to speak, we need to be fully present here now. And we can't do that unless we're using all of our skills and abilities. So before we actually have that meeting one day, if it ever takes place, um, it's important for you to fully disclose to yourself who you are and what you're capable of doing. And that's what I call the internal disclosure. Now, why is this so important? Well, think about it. If you go to visit another country, right? I'm sure you've done this um, at some point in your life. Um, you know that it's filled with new people and new languages and foods and ideas and so forth. And it can be a lot of fun if you do a little research ahead of time to learn about the place that you're going to, right? I mean, you could just end up in another country where they speak another language, and that can be an exciting thing in and of itself. But it's often fun if you get one of those Lonely Planet guidebooks or other types of guidebooks, right? To learn about the, the lifestyles there and the restaurants and get a map of the places you're gonna be visiting, right? To do a little research. Well, in this case, we don't have those books yet because we really don't know what's going on here. This is the point to have some of these meetings so we can find out what some of the facts are. And in this case, we're not really sure what the facts are. There's lots of ideas and opinions, and I know some of you have written to me about your ideas about what this is going on, but these are all just assumptions and opinions. We really don't know for sure. We don't have the facts yet. So we don't have the Lonely Planet Guide to Extraterrestrial Contact yet, but that's what kind of makes it fun, is each of us is kind of writing that book. And so I'm encouraging you to look at your belief systems, your assumptions, and almost what I call getting to know the alien within before we get to talk to the aliens physically on the outside at some day, if that ever happens, if you kind of get my meaning. Because if we don't kind of make that contact with ourselves, it's kind of like our assumptions about what we have before we visit another country. If we're not even aware of what those assumptions are, it's going to color the interaction, right? Basically, what's going to happen is each of us is going to project our own ideas onto this other phenomena without even being conscious that we're making that projection. So I just want you to be aware that whatever we project on the outside is really coming from us. 
it isn't really coming from out there, so you might as well get to know what some of those projections could potentially be, your own ideas, beliefs, assumptions. And one of the ways that I like to do that, as I've said before here, is through the process of resonant viewing, using these capacities we have to spontaneously and intuitively perceive non-local, so-called distant information. But that's just one way to do it. It's a way that I like to do and people I've worked with. But you need to find the best way that you can uh, have to develop your own abilities so that you're firing on all cylinders, so you've got all of those abilities and capacities working. And that way, when I think we do have this sort of contact at some day in our future, you know, we'll all be there with full capacity, able to make decisions about how to go about this and it'll be a much more interesting and prosperous experience. Now, if you'd like to get more information about this upcoming citizens hearing, just click on the link below. It'll take you to a link on my blog about this event, and there's a link there where you can get more information about it, sign up so you can fully participate. And I suggest you do because I think it could be very interesting. So again, thanks for listening. Uh, pay attention to outside disclosure, the internal disclosure, and I think we'll all be much better for it. Thanks a lot, and we will talk to you another time. Take care.